ice in my veins i've been driving this train years in this lane there's no stop in this flame because i came to the game and i changed it to play how i like rearranged it to my own domain yeah i got what it takes made lots of mistakes taking shots skipping breaks feeling lost feeling great popping off singing straight never stop never changed all the squad here to play and i've got something to say yeah i work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say And I'm up again I got tired eyes Need a cup of blend That's right In the AM That's my only friend No light Just the sun Coming up on the horizon I lose track of time Yeah, I move fast and climb A new class divine Yeah, true passion shines And I'm through passing time I choose stacking dimes You snooze half the time While I move passing by I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in here live on Beaufort Tone. My name is Javon Livingston here at live for the tip-off. We got the boys game of Stahl versus Battery Creek. Here. And we got a quick three-point attempt to kick it off there. No good for Simmons. Battery Creek, their home opener on the season. Want to try to start to get off on a good note there as they pass it around the arc. And we're having some, we're having some technical difficulties right now. We'll get that scoreboard up for you in a moment as soon as we get our first break here. And a quick pass up front. And the missed layup there from Q Williams. And the three-point attempt is no good. And there it goes. The offensive foul going the other way. And it looks like we got a quick substitution here for injury right there. It looks like the shoulder strap on Donnie Brown came a little bit unloose. Simmons, I mean, it'd be Battery Creek's ball. Ball's being taken out by the court by Q Williams. Pass the wing by Kent to Eliza. Back to Q. We set it top with Eliza. Drives, kicks out the game, and the three's just off the mark. Fast break for here for Stell. Misses the first attempt and gets the foul call on the second one. Looks like he'll be going to the line.
So that'll be number 12, Nixon. First shot's no good, in and out. Second shot, good to go. First basket of the game. Hits Gabe at the wing. Mathis stuck in traffic right here. It's Gabe on the wing again. Off the mark for three. Ball stolen by Ethan Cox. Q Williams at the top resetting the offense. Pass to Mathis on the wing. Getting double teamed. Pass back to Ethan. Pass into the lane under 21. Javari and Cole need to be fouled. He'll be going to the line for two. Second one just rattles out. Ball picked up by Q Williams, pass to Ethan. Hits Gabe in the corner, pump fakes, floater. No good. Ball rebounded by Ethan again. Ball taken up the court again by Simmons. And a layup good to go for Clark on the stall side. Quick pass to Gabe in the corner. And Cole is fouled again. Looks like he'll be heading back to the line. And I appreciate you for holding it down there for me, Tristan. Uh, had a little bit of technical difficulties had us uh, to, to get going here. Uh, first couple basketball games of the season of any sport is uh, a little bit rough there. Uh, a little slack uh, testing, I guess, so on my part. But uh, we got everything rolling for you. Uh, the, you got the time and the score it is correct. Star Wars up 3-0 here early on Battery Creek. And the foul shot going down there by Javori Cole to get the Dolphins on the board. And once again, I have properly uh, didn't get to properly introduce uh, our color commentator here tonight, Tristan Roberts. How you doing tonight, Tristan? I'm doing good, man. How about you? I'm doing all right. Excited for some basketball action here, the home opener here. Uh, for Battery Creek, and a three-point attempt is up. No good. Ethan Cox with Jabari Cole going to get the rebound and getting another foul there. And right now, both teams are playing really aggressive here. I mean, Creek has been getting some open looks from their, their, shoot, their sharpshooter, Gabe but he hasn't been able to knock him down quite yet. So we'll see if they can get him going. Yeah, and so far a little bit already a faster start than what we had uh, in the girls game earlier. Almost going scoreless for that first quarter. Uh, we already got three, two on the board and it looks like Jabari Cole is gonna be the guy uh, inside the hole there for Battery Creek here early. And pushing the pace the other way, thinking about taking the three there was Clark. Passing it around the arc there and the layup attempt. Great defense there by Cole Simmons trying to get the basket and coming full speed the other way. With Elijah Mathis and it doesn't go down. Inbound pass to Gabe Leggett passing it around the arc. Three ball. It's good, Q O Williams. And then aggressively getting back on defense there on the inbounds pass. Trying to 
trying to answer with a shot of their own. Does it go? Nice work down the baseline. Count the bucket. That was a nice euro right there. Stuck in the corner. The evasive defender going up for the block. And what a great back bucket there by number 10. Yeah, nice work by Lewis down there working on that baseline. Another shot is up this time. <laughs> Keith Williams not going to get that one to fall. That one was way off the mark. And it looks like we're going to get a timeout here early. The stall going to take a moment to talk about some things. And a quick pass cross court there. Find some room there. Trapped in the corner there on the defense. A nice work from the Dolphins there. Very close. Donnie Brown in the corner. Trying to find some room. Once again, Lewis and count the bucket. And Lewis just working inside of traffic. Nice work by Lewis to get the bucket uh, to go down there. And while he goes to the free throw stall, took a timeout first. Uh, so we're going to take a moment. And you had a pre-game interview uh, before. So we're going to take a moment and look at that. I'm here with Coach Breedlow for the Star Warriors. Coach Breedlow, there's no games for Creek on record this season. So what are you expecting to see from them coming out of this, coming to this game? Uh, we have a really young team. I have no players returning back from our team last year. So uh, we're just looking for our guys to grow more. Uh, we just coming off of our own Thanksgiving tournament, so uh, this will be uh, uh, just another stepping stone for us to get back to our region play. So uh, uh, just for us guys to get better every day. Yeah, and like you said, you have no players returning. One of the players that you lost was Terrence Johnson, your leading scorer for last year. How do you expect to replace that that type of productivity on your team this year? Uh, that's going to be hard, uh, uh, Terrence. Uh, uh, was only a freshman and uh, uh, and went to another one of the schools up in our area. But uh, then we had uh, 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 K.J. Dukes, uh, one of the top-ranked uh, sophomores in the state. Uh, he, he transferred as well. So uh, we try to do those collectively. We're not, we don't have one, one guy that's going to do everything. Uh, we have a collection of guys that's uh, trying to put it together. And uh, we're just trying to find our feet and uh, uh, find that chemistry to get us back scoring 60, 70 points a game, which we used to. So we just, uh, uh, our offense is uh, kind of hard for us right now, but we're going to get better, and we're looking forward to this night, uh, getting out here against uh, Battery Creek. All right, my last question is, you know, who do you, who would you say are some of your leaders for this game, for this team this year? Well, I think uh, we have a, a senior, uh, uh, Davion uh, Nixon, who has really been a, a great surprise to us. Uh, then we have a, a freshman point guard, uh, Austin Clark, who's a, uh, a good floor leader. And this is going to be his first game. He's been hurt all season, so he's not played at all. Uh, he's coming up and stepping up. 
He was our point guard for our B team last year. So you're coming from B team straight to varsity. So I'm looking for those two guys to uh, uh, be the leaders of our team this year. And uh, uh, I think they'll do a pretty good job. All right. Thank you, Coach. Uh, thank you. And welcome back, everybody, after the interview there with Tristan Roberts and Mr. Uh, head coach there for Stahl. And a uh, nice interview there at the beginning of the game. Uh, just to get a moment to talk to him and hear what he said. And like I said, and that's just tough, you know, to get two young guys. So you got a freshman and a sophomore, uh, two of your best players transfer out. You're thinking you got something to build with, with some young players there, don't you think, Tristan? Score is 10-9. Stahl with the lead here. Just one minute left to go inside the first quarter. And pass going off the fingertips there of Patterson. Right now, it looks like Creek's aggressive style of defense right here is getting to the Stall Warriors. You know, they were kind of picking it apart for, to begin with, but now it looks like they're forcing a lot of bad passes, forcing a lot of being in the passing lanes with their quickness and their, their size. So, great job by Creek here. And a step back three pointer, no good for Mathis. As we get down in 45 seconds and counting here inside the first quarter. And an answer from number zero, that one tipped. No good pass up front, and there goes the dunk. It goes down, Kelvin Willis. And he's going to rock the house. Everybody up on their feet for that one. And that's what everybody's looking to see in the high school basketball game. You get someone to dunk, you can be sure the place will erupt <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, that dunk sent half the student section into a frenzy right there. I mean, that was a great dunk right there. And driving again, Elijah Mathis getting the two. And fighting for the ball here in the final seconds of the first quarter. Battery three trying not to let Stahl get a shot off. And that's going to do it. The end of the first quarter, folks. Your score, the Dolphins, 13. Stahl with 10 when we return. And welcome back, everybody, top of the second quarter. An exciting end with the dunk from Willis in the final seconds there. Let's see what the second quarter has in store for us. And a three-point attempt is up. No a good from Donye Brown. But back into the hands of the Dolphins, Derek Smalls with the recovery. As they work their way on the top of the key. And we got a foul going the other way. Stall ball. We got 
got one pregame interview out the way. And so before we get carried away, let's listen to uh, your conversation with Coach Brown. Coach Brown, who do you expect to step up for this team for, uh, for this year, coming, up, coming off last year's season? Well, we got we got five seniors, man. We, well, we got four seniors starting. We got one junior. So all the seniors that we have now, man, they are pretty um, pretty much guys that came back last year that um, – that's been with me for four years, so I'm excited to see what they do starting off this year right here. All right, and based off of the games that you saw from Stahl or the, the games that you've seen that they had, what, are your game, what is your game plan coming into this one? Oh, we got a good defensive coach, man, Coach Capers, man. Um, we've been getting after it real hard in practice with um, just pressuring the ball 94 feet, so we, we're going to pressure the ball a lot, and that's just going to be our style and our identity, just pressure the ball and force turnovers. All right, what do you think the keys are for you to come in into this game in order to win the game? Um, my keys, our keys to, to win this game is, is very simple, man. Just be simple with the basketball, um, play defense, turn them over as much as we can, and just, just play the under control. Thank you, Coach Brown. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right, that was your, <laughs> I say it was your pregame interview there with Coach Brown. What was it like talking to Coach Brown after doing the pregame there? I mean, he said Coach Capers is one of their, their best coaches for defensively, and we're seeing it right here. Creek is getting their hands or getting in the passing lane about every pass that Stahl tries to make right here, and that's that's what's leading to what's going on right now, a bunch of fast breaks for Creek, a lot of momentum swinging this way. So that's what I kind of took away from that interview right there. But here, 15 to 10, Bucket scored two more uh, during the interview. We're back to full screen here. Down the floor, the inbound pass from Star. The three from the top of your screen. And it goes down. That's going to be Myers. And pass down the lane, trying to use the shoulder there, Donye Brown, and the layup doesn't go. Looks like Creek is helping their shooter back in, Gabe. And there you go, speaking of the shooter, and there goes the three, Gabe Leggett. You know, as I was watching him in warm-ups, that was kind of his hot spot. He hit multiple threes right there, back-to-back, -back, and his teammates were kind of just hyping him up. So if Stahl wants to try to stop the scoring, as Derek Smalls has a great deflection right there. So like I was saying, if Stahl wants to try to stop the scoring, they're going to have to try to stop Gabe from getting, getting to that left corner that he loves so much. Yeah, that is short of push. You already got a dunk, and now you got a couple of threes from Battery Creek. Get the push on their feet, but still only a five-point lead here for the Star Warriors. And like you said, uh, you talked to Coach before the game, and he said they're looking to get back into that 60 to 70 point range uh, that they were used to last year. So let's we'll see what he got planned here on the offensive side of the ball for the Warriors. at the charity stripe. He knocks down the first. And Leggett on the outside wing trying to find some room. They pass it around the other way. Mid-range shot, no good. And here comes Simmons with the rebound. Get it up front to Clark. Clark trying to find some room, gets it back to Simmons. Leggett gets his hands in the lane there. And a travel call on Myers. Battery Creek ball. You know, one of the things that, you know, wasn't in that just knowing Coach Brown, uh, he graduated a couple years uh, before I did, so I got to see him play in high school. And during that time, he had one of the 
legendary uh, basketball coaches here in the area. Uh, Coach John Drafts was a part of a lot of those great uh, Battery Creek basketball teams. But, um, you know, he had a little bit of encouragement because since he's been there, he's instilled a lot of, you know, uh, religion and a lot of his practice and the coachings and doing the right thing and getting the kids to work out over the summer. You see a lot of the clips that he posts and the, a lot of inspiration. You know, he has his organization conquer it all. Um, but so far, that hasn't transferred on the basketball court as of yet. I've seen some good players, but not necessarily the team wins. But um, some encouragement from Coach Drafts I saw, you know, on some of his posts was that just keep going. You know, Coach Drafts, he admits, he said, hey, he, his first couple of seasons weren't winning seasons either. Um, so to just keep going forward and eventually, uh, you know, come through. So looking to get on the right track here tonight uh, to start off the season. Free throw goes down. And the stall hard charging down the other way. And trapped in that corner there. That's Cole in the get. Trying to stay aggressive here in the corner. Once again, now on the other side. Now the call there on right, Javori Cole. And Donnie Brown is going to take him out for a moment. Ball, Zinnin, looking for the inbound pass. Quickly gets it to Nixon, and Nixon nowhere to go. Aggressive Battery Creek defense on both sides in the corners. They're quick to trap those guys uh, inside the corner. You see the action there. Yeah, what I'm saying from this all offense right now is that they're being forced to rush passes. It seems like they're not really used to this type of pressure that Creek is putting on them right now. So it's just like they're forcing the rush passes. They find a hole in that defense right there. But the shot is no good. And and those are the shots you got to make. Um, your Myers and the rest of the Star Warriors, you got to knock those down because, you know, so far, easy, open shots hasn't been far, hard to come by. I mean, easy to come by. A lot of their shots have been contested because you see how quick Battery Creek has been getting the trap towards the, uh, the sideline there. Once again, that one winds up in the hands of Mathis and going for the dunk, and he blows. No point uh, there, but he's going to keep going and has his head down a little bit because once the lights come on, you miss a dunk like that, yeah. everybody's watching you. You know it's going to be a conversation the first period tomorrow. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Battery Creek choosing to go full cut up front. Q Williams getting his hands on the ball there. going to the line and the bonus. to the line, shooting the second, knocks it down. And the pass goes off the feet. Toss out to near half court towards Elijah Mathis. Looks about taking the three there and passes it backwards. Gets it to Leggett. Back to Mathis. Williams, not the top of the key. Taking the time trying to find some room. And Mathis finally pulls the three off the front of the iron there. And there goes Clark with the rebound. And almost getting trapped inside that corner. Finally gets it out to Simmons who gets it back to Clark. 
And a fire to room and a high pass. Donye Brown leaping up in the air. Yeah, and Clark was one of those players that Coach Vila was talking about, how he expects him to take a, a little leadership role in this offense here. Let's see if he can calm it down, get this offense working as a, as a forward general. Yeah, that's going to be hard to do. You see how aggressive uh, the Dolphins' defense is playing up near that half court line again the trap. And once again, up front, another opportunity to lay up a lot. Excuse me, not Elijah, just Keith Williams. <laughs> And we got a medical time out there as it looks like another situation with Donnie Brown again. And we got a quick substitution. Things keep going uh, with basketball. It's going to be stall ball. They're going to take it from the baseline. The room with three up in the air, air ball. And the layup also no good on the follow. And Eliza Master spin move in the lane. The underhanded layup doesn't go, but the follow goes down. And nice work there by Ethan Cox getting in there. He gets two points in the column. And the Dolphins quickly getting back on the defense there. going to the line and I think that was some great sportsmanship by coach uh, Brown uh, down there I think they were just going to take the ball out of bounds and I think he signaled that it was a uh, uh, that they were in the ball and they were supposed to uh, shoot uh, shoot to there if I'm not mistaken it looked like that was a conversation down there it reminds me of that uh, Gatorade uh, commercial back in the day yeah. it's our ball coach yeah. Yeah. I, I touched it last you know what I'm saying everybody watched that commercial was like nah <laughs> <laughs> And Simmons knocks it down as Mathis takes it out of bounds and gets it into the hands of his guy, Mr. Williams. He brings the ball across half court. He takes a room trying to go baseline with it. And a play was drawn up there. Looks like they were trying to get it to the get on the back side. It's just an arid pass there at the bottom there from Damian Freeman. Yeah, they were trying to get him back in his hot spot in that in that corner that he loved so much. Just a, a little bit. Just, Freeman was expecting him to stay where he was and try to kick it out, but there goes the get, take him down the court. And they're gonna stall an aggressive defense, trying to get out front there. Nice work there by Nixon. That's in the corner, the pump fake there for the corner through it tries to drive baseline there before the foul is called. suffocating defense so far here from Battery Creek. It only has them with the five-point lead. Stahl has been able to manage just a little bit, but it's been hard to do there. There's one thing. They've showed defense tonight, and they get the bucket. You see there going down by Nixon.
And just under a minute to go, the Dolphins take a five-point lead. Apologize for the little bit of on-air silence there. Was trying to get uh, Mr. Roberts ready as he's making his way down onto the court to get that uh, pre-halftime interview there from whoever the winning coach is. If we got a minute left to go. And Leggett wide open for a three, and down it goes. Oh, trying to find some room, trying to answer back with the three of their own and on the top of the backboard, almost getting stuck there. And just under 30 seconds left to go, time winding down. Inside the second quarter. Battery Creek trying to find some room. Aggressive defensive. Leggett trying to pick it up. Lazy there. He pulls up a three. And it goes down. Another one for Leggett. His third triple on the night, if I'm not mistaken. And a half court shot off the backboard. No a good. Your halftime score, Dolphins 31. Dolphins 31. Battery Creek, I mean, excuse me, Dolphins 31, stall with 20. And give us a moment here as we get Coach Brown with the, Coach Brown with the quick uh, sideline interview. Man, it's a lot of 50-50 balls that we should be getting. I just think we're getting out hustle. Um, and I think if we start getting more of those 50-50 balls, we'll be all riding up this lead a lot more. All right, and offensively, you guys are doing pretty good right here. What do you what do you plan? Do you plan to keep the ball in Leggett's hand? And Gabe is our, is, yeah, of course, he's our shooter, but um, we got guys that haven't gotten going yet, like Elijah. We're still trying to get him. Once Elijah starts going, then a lot more is going to open up. All right, thank you, Coach. And thank you, Tristan, for that wonderful post-game, I mean, halftime interview right there with Coach Brown. And we'll be back right after this.
welcome back everybody from halftime. Dolphins with an 11 point lead, some aggressive defense for the Dolphins here. Stahl made a couple plays in traffic. It's the only way they were able to get points so far in the first half, but still playing aggressive. Only an 11 point game to see if they could turn around here in the second half. And the shot there early, no good. Leggett was the leading scorer in the first half with nine with three trays. That was a great offensive possession right there, even though the shot didn't go down. That, I like to see more of that from Stahl, though. More offensive possessions where it's not such broken plays where they're, they're fumbling the ball and everything. More like calm, cool, collective passes, hitting their wide open guys and giving them a chance to make the shot. Yeah, and let's see. They're going to have to get through this, uh, this defense here, the opportunities here. And they can't miss those opportunities either. You see Mathis uh, sticking his arms out there, uh, getting into the passing lane. Um, but the Yeah, and they take it too long to pass the ball in. Like a five little violation there on the pass to be Battery Creek ball. And Williams bringing it up the floor. Works baseline to try to get it back to him on the opposite side. Bounds the Mathis back to Williams. Gets to Leggett in the corner. Bounce pass to Cole. And the bucket goes in. And the shot is up. Getting a hand up there. And the defense was Willis and Mathis driving the other way. Two more points for the Dolphins. Up to a 15 point lead here. Just a minute to go here, I mean a minute down in the uh, third quarter. And Leggett comes up with the steal, kind of falls into his lap, but not able to be saved by Woods. And that's one guy that the, that Coach Brown said he wanted to try to get going was Mathis. They said that uh, Leggett has been hitting his shots and everybody else has, but Mathis, they want to try to get him going, try to get him more involved in the offense. Yeah, Mathis was one of those uh, preseason uh, region selections. He's played in a couple of showcases over the summer. Um, so they're definitely expecting him to kind of be the guy for this team uh, going forward. Um, but so far, um, a lot of guys have been chipping in really even, evenly so far. Only person ahead right now, like I said, is like get with those three trays. And that will separate you really fast. <laughs> yeah. Shot locked there. Looks like Leggett was able to get a hand out there. Mathis pushing it down the court. Another layup, two more points, and it looks like he might be uh, getting going here in the third quarter. And that says a lot. You get up by 11 uh, without your leading guy, your main guy, uh, get going. And now he's starting to get it going here. And now you push that lead up to 17. You see everybody else has got the night off, so you're starting to fill up. We got the Bridges Prep boys in the house and the Well Branch boys uh, in the house tuned in to watch Battery Creek here. Yeah, they're trying to scout up the competition. You got some Bridges boys over here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yet to, I don't think I've, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I spotted it, the Eagles yet. It's surprising that they didn't make their, make their way over here. Quick pass up court, nice pass, Cole. A nice transition offense there from the Dolphins, just keeping the ball moving, finding an open man, and they get the layup from Cole. 
And there it goes, the whistle, as they tried to surround Nixon right there. Still going to be Warriors ball. Yeah, on that scoring possession, you could kind of see that Stahl was trying to kind of take a page out of Creek's book and try to play that aggressive full court defense. It just didn't work out for them. Creek found the holes, found the wide open guy in the paint, and finished the layup. And a three for Stahl. It goes down. Lewis. As a Mathis try to find some room. Does it? Passes it to Williams. Williams trying to drive inside of traffic. Gets a layup up, but doesn't get it to go down. Ethan Cox was trying to fight in the middle of everybody and draws the foul to the line. He goes. And Leggett driving baseline, and that one kind of airballs the layup there. Might want to keep him outside of that three-point line there. <laughs> and uh, speaking of a three, it's up and in and out for Nixon. Yeah, even though that shot didn't drop, those are back-to-back -back good possessions by Stahl right there. The first possession they found, found the wide open guy, hit the shot. Second guy, the second possession, they're finding those holes in that aggressive defense. It's good to get that aggressive defense going, but it does have its its flaws in finding finding the holes in it. That's all Saul has to do right here to get it going. And spinning around in traffic was Lewis trying to find a man. He had a three. Simmons is wide open and hits the side of the board. They get the rebound and the layup doesn't go either. Cox winds up with it and spins around until he gets it to Mathis. And a reset up the top with Williams. Leggett, another three. This time off the iron and Mathis jumping a little bit way too early there. And thinking about spotting up for a two, then deciding to drive, and that's an and a one for Myers as he goes to the line. Yeah, it seems like Stahl has found new life. It seems like they're hustling a little bit more out of halftime. It was like they're, they, their coach gave him a great, a great halftime speech in order to get him going here. So. If they get another run going here, then they can get right back into this game. Yeah, and, th and this is anybody's ball game. You know, if anybody thinks about, uh, you know, Battery Creek being up by 17, I mean, you're wrong. We see it happen all the time. 17 is nothing in basketball. Football, maybe, but basketball, 17, a team can just go on a run as we get a timeout call there uh, by Stahl. They're going to take talk some things over, but um, I'm going to have four timeout, so we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. Back everybody out of the timeout break. Battery Creek ball trying to drive it fast down court, and they find the man Javari Cole was uh, out way in front, gets the easy two for Battery Creek. Three pointer, air ball, rebound, back up good. Well, I don't know if it's called a rebound if you air ball there, but <laughs> still they get two points out of it instead of three for Stahl. Only 11 point game now. Back to the same as halftime, trying to trim that lead and trying to skip through the lane with layup no good. The ball movement by Stahl. Lewis and tied up in the middle there. And pump fake the three and uh, 
A long floater, no good from Myers. As Mathis comes up with it, passes it to Cole, mishandled it, and could have got an easy two there. And Williams decides to slow everybody down and reset at the top of the key. And Cox being defended by Lewis and drive it himself. <laughs> and they're going to wave that one off with uh, the uh, travel call there. It's the big guy was trying to show off the handles. Lewis trying to find some room. They finally get the ball to the corner, deciding to step in and through traffic. Layup doesn't go. Well defended. And staying inbounds is Simmons coming after that aired ball. And that spin move on the three and a long two. That would have made the highlight there for Myers if that would have dropped for sure. stall ball and with stall I love to see another team possession here it seems like their guards are kind of just overwhelmed by the size of the paint they're just trying to kind of get the shot up and not get it blocked I mean if you can't find your shot from the, from the paint try to kick it out find a little guy that you can see on the perimeter as we have a lot of a fast break yeah, Nixon trying to go for the dunk there. And at this point, man, you're down by 11, man. Just get the easy two there, son, and, and keep it pushing there. Like, heck, another three-point attempt this time. And air balls it. Um, but, yeah, you know, like I said, batter keeps playing that aggressive defense, um, like you mentioned. But they haven't been able to – Stahl hasn't been able to do anything to force them out of that. And usually you make a couple baskets, um, some great passes. Usually a team backs out of that. Uh, aggressive defensive style and tries to get into a half court set, but instead, uh, Battery Creek sticking with it there because it's been causing a uh, stall a little bit of fits here. And a long two off the side of the iron. And winds up in the hands of Stahl. Couple pass exchanges between Lewis and Clark. No relation. And then Cole pushing it himself, trying to get the two. Doesn't get it to go. The defense by the Warriors and a steal. Coming back the other way. And they're just trading steals right now. I think everybody's recorded a steal at this point and driving to the basket and the end one for Elijah Mathis. There he goes. There goes that that energy, that spark that they were looking for in Elijah Mathis right here. Finally gets it, finally gets it going in the second half. Way to go. Makes his and one. The substitution's coming in, in the final minute of the third quarter. 14 point lead for the Dolphins. Bringing up an old conversation we were talking about. I think I spotted an eagle in the crowd. Samari Bonds here in attendance. 
And you got to get that because, I mean, you see how aggressively of how it is on the defensive side, and he's the one. And like I said, I spoke about him being an emotional leader the other night, so it's kind of fitting that he would be the first one in attendance here uh, for the Eagles to get some uh, scouting done because he's that guy. He stays on it. He's that dog. And that might be that football player in him as well. You got to get some film to evaluate yeah. the other team right there. So. So everybody on this side of the Broad River is basically here now officially with yeah. uh, Well Branch Bridges and uh, and now Buford High uh, making an appearance here in the second half. And it looks like uh, the Dolphins taking their time uh, towards the end of the third quarter here, trying to run it out and get a final play. And finally, a three-pointer up in the air. No good. Bryce Saunders. And it looks like Stahl is going to get the last shot attempt off. And one's up in the air. It is good. Patterson to end the third quarter. What a shot. And we're going to take a break, folks, and we are going to be right on back. Your score, Battery Creek 44, stall with 33, 11-point game when we return. And welcome back, everybody. It's time for the fourth quarter. We got an 11-point ball game. A little bit of points exchange back and forth during the third, but it's the same as halftime. Let's see if the Warriors can close the distance here and spoil the home opener for the Dolphins. Matt is trying to drive through traffic, and that's a good start for the Warriors with the steal. And the man, Patterson, who made the three-pointer at the buzzer, going for the layup, no go, high off the backboard. Not to the whistle, Dolphins ball. And Leggett, the man with 75% of the made threes here tonight. Uh, in the inbound pass, and Williams drives and kicks it to Cole. Basket no good, but will go to the line. And while you got a moment, if you're watching the game, don't forget, if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Facebook, hit that like button. And on Twitter, don't forget to give us a follow. And if you're enjoying our coverage here tonight, don't forget you can always text Buford to 801-801 to donate and help support our coverage of local high school sports. That's Buford to 801-801. And Cole sinks the second one of two there. And Stahl trying to find some room the other way. Battery Creek staying aggressive and forcing the turnover as that one rolls out of bounds. And Creek is unrelentless with this defense. I mean, they, they've been staying in this defense the entire time because, I mean, why switch it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, they've, they've been pressing Stahl to make horrible passes all game. So, as... He wouldn't drop a foul there. Yeah, and like I said, th that that style of defense, you, 
you have to have somebody at the point guard position with handles. That's usually what gets a team out of that. You get a guy with handles, they get him the ball, and once he makes a couple people look a little bit stupid there, the team cuts the back. I was like, all right, cool, we can't get him because this guy has the ball on the string. Um, and the star hasn't so far displayed that tonight. They have shown an, an amazing ability to score in traffic because as much as Battery Creek's been on them, they've still been able to get 33 points. So just imagine if they were able to get some open looks, some easy shots at the basket. Yeah, and I'm like Stahl is trying to kind of imitate that same defense, but you know, like you said, the point guard with handles will get you out of that defense quick, and it looks like they kind of changed up from it. And the two point there by Myers as he comes up with the ball off the rebound and drives it the other way, the full length of the court. Now this game staying steady at 11 points for Battery Creek. Cole thinking about the, the, the three pointer before giving it to Williams, steps in. Euro layup no good. Working near the net was Kelvin Willis. Kicked his own rebound a couple of times, not getting nothing to go down before dishing it out there. Stall needed there the opportunity. They had a man up front, Simmons, trying to get a fast break points there and tosses it towards the wall. Uh, uh, if you heard that, I apologize. I don't know if the student just kind of walked behind us here and got a little bit of a <laughs> language there. And fighting for it on the ground. And finally pushes it up front, tries to get it to a man, and they get the bucket. Myers, the fast break points there. Finally gets it below a double digit lead there with to nine, 37 46. Dolphins still up top. Already you can see Stalls getting this, doing a better job of getting down for it on the fast breaks and trying to get those, those points back up in order to try to at least make this game, make this game a little bit closer than it already is. Yeah, Leggett trying to show off the handles right there near the top of the key. And this is uh, a little bit of lackadaisical motion and try to, they got to keep it going. They got to keep it together. You can't run out of gas uh, at this point because we talked about uh, leads not being that good in basketball. Anybody can go on a run at any time. Um, so like I said, Battery Creek got up as far as 17 at once. Now that lead uh, is nine uh, here in the fourth quarter with five and a half left to go. So um, still an opportunity here. And so they got to keep their foot on the gas. I'm going to keep pushing. They want to finish this game out and get their first win of the season. And especially against Stahl, which is, a, you know, a 5A school with the winning record coming in here 2-1 and one, uh, on the season. Trying to get a shot up there. No good. Willis with the rebound and gets it into the hands of his guy, Mathis. And there is the whistle ball going out of the way. And the three ball is up. And off the far side of the iron and then over the uh, backboard for Nixon, who hasn't had you know, too much success with those three balls tonight. Yeah, as much as the stall team has been able to get those good looks, haven't been hitting them. Nixon especially, I mean, they've been getting their looks. They haven't even, they've been, haven't been dropping for them. We've been talking about a completely different game right here if those looks have dropped. And driving through traffic, Mathis. Some nice work from him in traffic. Finally open look there. Uh, for the Warriors, that one goes down. Nixon, he gets the two. I like to talk about one way to get that, get them out that aggressive defense is a good ball handle. Another way, just great passes. Finding the holes in those defenses right there, and that's what I was able to do in order to get those two points. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. That one goes out of bounds, the air pass. And the timeout by Coach Brown. And if you watch this here in the fourth quarter, don't forget, it is Tuesday. So after the game, don't forget, you can check out the local uh, Hope Support Podcast live on Facebook on Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 p.m. I'll be there. Tristan will probably be there. Uh, check out Justin, Jared, West Curry crew on the local Hoop Support Podcast uh, tonight uh, for a, a roundup of scores around the uh, low uh, country. Gets stolen going the other way. Lewis trying to drive it the full length of the court and misses the layup there. Wasn't completely open, but the follow goes down. Nice work by Myers. And a seven point ball game here with four minutes left to go. And what's thought was on the way to a blowout is now a basketball game, folks. Yeah, like you were saying, Stahl's been really good with making those contested shots and contested layups. That's what's really gotten him back into this game right here. And, you know, Preet's defense has been has been pushing it, has been being very physical. But if Stahl's able to make those contacted layups, then they'll be good. Yeah, that's going to be the fifth foul on the night. It's going to put Battery Creek inside. Uh, the bonus here, so they're going to go to the line, and that's something that Stahl really kind of didn't need. They've been playing aggressive themselves here in the second half, but something they kind of really didn't need with four minutes left to go. Um, it's going to cause them to play a little bit more cautiously uh, with five, with uh, four minutes left to go. That one right over out from Mitchell. They kind of need that one there. knocks down the free throw there, 49-41. Once again, trying to pass through that defense and enforcing that error pass there. Another one out of bounds there for the Warriors. is driving and the layup is good. And a nice a little step back there by Myers. Unfortunately, it doesn't go down and driving the other way. And Willis blowing the dunk there. And traffic and another error pass by Stahl. Try to get a little bit of measure of revenge right there for making one of their guys fall to try to to try to get that three. And somehow it got off. Yeah, and, and Stahl, they, like I said, they're playing aggressive. You see everybody, and the, everybody has their hands on their knees for Stahl on the opposite side of the court. Uh, you guys can't see right now, but show up real quick before they toss the ball. Um, but everybody hands on their knees. But, you know, in my opinion, that isn't the gassed hands on your knees. Look, that's the I'm focused, I'm locked in, I'm ready to go. We got three and a half minutes left. We can win this ball game type of hands on your knees stare um, that, you know, athletes do sometimes. And so they're locked in right now, and they're trying to come back and win this ball game. Creek chance get going here. Creek feel like they've secured this from the crowd at least. Yeah, and it looks like we got a scoreboard issue here. As you see everybody talking at the scores table, uh, the scoreboards are not in sync. Uh, so they just got this one set to 327, but one was showing 312 and the other one was showing 327 here. So uh, we're going to let uh, four of these seconds roll off before we start um, our clock here as we're ahead by uh, a couple seconds. So we try to stay, we're not uh, connected to the scoreboard, so we try to stay as close as we can here um, on Buford's own, so. Mm -hmm. 
got everything going and inbounds. And Williams to Mathis, he gives it right back to Williams as he tries to bring the ball across half court and he's got a defender waiting for him. Leggett wide open in the corner. Another three for number a three. The fitting number for him. The steal going the other way. Mathis blows the layup there. Battery Creek staying aggressive. Pass to the corner. And the whistle on Myers. And if you're stall right there, you just cannot leave Leggett open in that corner. You know, that's his hot zone right there. Both corners is just his, his hot spot. Can't leave him open in this first time. What? It's not what stall needed is a defensive breakdown. Well, listen, Leggett has four threes on the night, and he's rocking number three. So I don't think it's safe to leave him open anywhere. Has a three <laughs> attempt right there from Patterson, uh, runs in and out. But I don't think it's safe to leave him anywhere across that three point line at all. So you just got to keep your eye on him and not give him an opportunity to knock that down. And, you know, when you're playing aggressive, sometimes you tend to leave holes. Leggett can't be one of them here tonight. <laughs> And Lewis at the line to shoot a couple, and he knocks the first one down. And Lewis, once again, an air pass. It was tipped. But the whistle called wound up in the hands of the right, per uh, right person, I guess, with Myers. But uh, whistle, Battery Creek ball going the other way. And now here comes Stahl playing aggressive full court defense. But they leave Willis open. Oh, excuse me, not Willis Cox. And misses the wide open layup. And here comes Lewis the other way. Great defense by Cole. Mathis taking it himself. Gets the bucket. Two points. Keeps the... Dolphins in the lead here. Lewis pass inside. Trying to put a little English on it was Nixon, but the layup doesn't go. And Mathis tries to slow it down and gets it to Williams there and try to reset at the top of the key as they pass it around the arc. A little driving kick there and again, another one is fifth triple on the night. Have a night. Gabe Leggett. Oh my God. And he's got five. The most I've seen on Buford's own, I believe, is seven uh, from Bluffton a couple years ago. I forget the young man's name who did that for me, but uh, uh, Gabe Leggett with five triples here on the night, and he's going to go to the line and shoot a couple. Yeah, well, what, what makes Leggett so dangerous is that not only is he a shooter, but he's a very athletic guy here. I mean, he can blow by you as, as well as he could shoot. So that little hezzy step is all he needed in order to get enough space for him to pull the three, and he hit it. So. Yeah, he's going to be a dangerous guy, you know, so far it looks like this season. If he could, if he could stay hot and get in the groove each night, um, it's great to have a guy uh, on your team that could be able to knock down those shots. Thanks to the threes of Leggett, the lead back up to 18. Well, actually 18, the largest of the night here. It's, well, just over a minute and a half left to go here in the fourth quarter. And that's gonna be it for Tristan here. Tristan's gonna make his way down on the court. Get ready for our post-game uh, interviews. And it misses the second. And Mathis, I mean, excuse me, not Mathis. Williams is going to take his time. He passes it to Mathis just now and gets it right back. And Dolphins taking their time, letting the clock roll down as they're up by 18. And 
And Williams driving inside the middle, gets two more and make the lead 20 on the night. With under a minute left to go here, Battery Creek's gonna get their first win of the season at home, their home opener versus uh, the Star Warriors. And the subs are on the floor uh, for the Warriors here. As you see Felder and Goodwin checking in along with Yeadon. And that's going to be the fifth foul, especially putting Stahl in the bonus here. Just 45 seconds left to go. And there goes the substitutions for Battery Creek. Especially clearing the forward would be a 20 point victory if the score holds up. But Lewis at the line and he makes the second in the 43 uh, 62. For the second pass inside, another foul going to the line now. That's Derek Smalls. the first of two. And misses the second, gets his own rebound, puts up a floater, that goes down. And Derek Smalls coming in here, getting a score, and he's at the top of that defense there, trying to chase down the ball carry. He gets the tip, and out of bounds it goes. Still staying aggressive. He comes into the game and closes the time, and Derek Smalls. And the three goes up and no good on the other side once again for Nixon. Three is just not falling the light. Lewis with the floater inside of traffic getting tied up. Jump ball, Bryce Saunders. Inbound pass, clock under 10, still trying to find some room. Lewis, pass inside. And another foul, and here come the shots. Oh, no, that. Yeah. I thought they were going to take it out there for a second. And then... Yaden at the line. And air balls the free throw. And misses the second, a rebound, Naquan Gordon. And then just point three seconds left to go. We don't have a the millisecond clock, and that's going to be the game. And Battery Creek's going to win it. And Battery Creek's going to win it here with the score of 65 to 43. And I don't nobody go anywhere to stay. Stay tuned as we got Tristan Roberts uh, with the post game. An uh, interview with Coach Brown in a moment.
And it looks like Tristan has finally got a hold of Coach Brown. Apologize about that, folks. Looked like we couldn't get the audio on that one. Sorry you couldn't hear that, but I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Once again, your final score, Battery Creek 65, RB Stahl 43. Thank you for tuning in, and 